Hey everybody, it's Cristana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today what we're gonna work on is this cute little chest of drawers. It is mid-century modern, so I'm gonna kinda pan down so you can see it. So it's a mid-century modern chest of drawers that I had gotten from a family that is moving from here. And so if you know anything about mid-century modern, you know that there's a very specific style. You either paint it in that style or you refinish it to natural wood. There's not really an in-between when it comes to mid-century modern. Now, I don't like to be that kind of person that says you have to do this and you have to do that, but there are certain, there are a few different styles that kind of, you have to kind of follow that or whatever. So, or at least that's what they say. Anyways, so we're gonna do that. I saw this cute piece on Wayfair of all places, and so I got some inspiration for my colors from that. The picture on Wayfair was a little bit bigger, so we're gonna kind of scale it down. I'm gonna mix some colors. We're gonna be doing some stripes. We're gonna make it pretty retro and cool. So, if you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and then hit that bell, and you'll get all the latest videos from me every single week. I put out at least one. And then also, everything that we use in this video will be in the description below. You can just click on those little links if you wanna purchase it and it takes you right to where you need to be. So let's get started and let's transform this cute little chest of drawers. Some people call them chest of drawers. It's a chest of drawers. Yes. Anyways, let's get started. So I have cleaned this piece with white lightning really well and a lot of times when I'm painting a piece that is lighter and I'm not quite sure about the wood, so this is walnut and it's not known to be a bleeder but it was really dirty. So I'm gonna use Dixie Belle's Boss in white and I am going to go over this piece with Boss just because I wanna block any odors and it was super, super dirty so I'm hoping that we won't have a lot of bleed through. So we're gonna do this next and then we'll move on. Okay, so I have put two coats of boss on this and it is ready for the next color. So I'm gonna mix a custom color. I wanted a light peach color. And so I'm gonna take Dixie Belle's apricot and Dixie Belle's pink champagne and I'm gonna do a two for one mix. Two parts of the apricot and one part of the pink champagne to make the perfect pale peach color. And so when I say two for one, I mean, if you're gonna do two cups of apricot, then you do one cup of the pink champagne. Or if you're gonna do two tablespoons of apricot, do one tablespoon of pink champagne. So two for one, two parts of this, one part of this. Okay? Okay, so I have put two coats of the mixed paint together, the apricot and the pink champagne, and now I'm going to focus on where I want my stripes. So I want my stripes to start a little bit further in, and I'm actually going to do the stripes in five different colors. I want my stripes to be the thickness of, I'll show you, uh, the thickness of two pieces of tape. Okay, so how am I gonna do that? I don't want my stripes to start over here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to 
put a piece of tape down here and that way my stripes will start more like right there. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape all the way down and I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna line it up with the edge of my drawers. That way I know that it's even, okay? But I'm gonna wrap it around the top and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna measure the top. So for the top, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my piece of tape that is right here and I'm gonna make sure I go right up, go straight down, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna measure these stripes all the way down. So this is about a three quarters of an inch. And so I'm gonna mark a few places down here, three quarters of an inch with my pencil, just a little tiny mark. Okay, and now I'm going to follow my tape right next to that mark. I'm gonna line it up here and I'm gonna follow it. See, there's my mark right next to it. Right next to it, oops. Follow my mark right next to the tape. And now we have an even stripe that is gonna go all the way across. So we're gonna start our color right here, okay? These pieces of tape, since I want my paint to be the thickness of two pieces of tape, which also is two inches, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark two inches from the edge of this tape. So I'm gonna mark two inches. Two inches. Two inches. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tape and I'm gonna butt it right there. Right up against that two inches. So it's up against that one, up against that one, up against that one, and voila. We have two inches and this is where our first colored stripe's gonna go. So we're gonna continue the same thing down the front. Also, what you're gonna wanna do is take your measuring and it's two inches apart, or whatever, if you do inches or centimeters, there's two inches apart here. And then we need to pull it in just a little bit more right there. So we wanna make sure that it's even all the way down. So for the front, I wanna show you something that I did. So, you know, a measuring tape has a little hook on it, so it's not always the easiest. So I took one of my popsicle sticks and I cut the end off and made it even and made it flat and straight and I measured two inches in and that's what I'm going to use because it's much easier for me to stick that up against that right there. It's much easier for me to stick that up against that tape and mark my two inches. Okay. Rather than try to do it with a measuring tape. So you can do that or you can use a ruler. I don't have a ruler. I know that you guys are probably thinking, well, why doesn't she use a ruler? I don't have one. So I made my own. I made my own ruler, so now I'm gonna do that all the way down. Okay, so I have marked it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put my tape right next to all those little tick marks. And I did more down the bottom, that way I knew that I would be keeping myself in a straight line. So the reason why I'm marking this off is because this is the part right here that I want my paint, my first stripe of paint to be. And so this is where we're going with it, it's right here. I'm gonna mark it up right there, and then I'm gonna butt it up right against that first tick, my second tick, and we've got our two inches. So I'm gonna do that in, down the entire thing. So I have measured this entire thing all the way down, even done the lips, and then I pulled the drawers out and did the top of the drawers. So I'm gonna do my first, I'm gonna do my first set of stripes using rusty nail.
Okay, so as you can see behind me, this piece is almost done. I have one more color to do. And so I'm gonna kind of go through and show you exactly how I did these stripes. So I'm gonna do the last one with you and then that will show you how I did the stripes. I think it's looking pretty cool. What do you guys think? Okay, so we're gonna do the last one. What I'm gonna do is I will be taking my little sticky thing, you know, if you've got a ruler, and I'm going to butt it right up against that latest color and I'll be making markers. Then I'll be putting the tape along those markers and I'll be putting the tape along this color right here. Then we paint, let that first coat dry, do a second coat, and while that second coat's still wet, I pull the paint off. Everybody, so this piece is done. It's looking really cute and retro. So it's done. If you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell and you'll get all the latest videos. Everything I use is in the description below. And as always, happy creating and I'll see you next time. We need each other for so long.